Good day everyone. So let us now have the continuation of the lesson that we had about trigonometric substitution. Like what I have said before or from the previous example, integrals involving square roots such as square root of a squared minus x squared, square root of a squared plus x squared, and square root of x squared minus a squared where a is a constant can be solved using trigonometric substitution. For this, we have x equals a sine theta. For this, we have x equals a tan theta. And for this one, we have x equals a secant theta. It should involve a square root. So let us have our next example. Our example number two will be the integral of x cubed dx all over x squared minus one quantity raised to three halves. Can we proceed to trigonometric substitution? No, because our given is also written in the form the integral of x cubed dx all over the quantity x squared minus 1 or the cube root of uh, uh, the square root of x squared minus 1 quantity raised to the third power. This should be written in the form 1 half or the square root of x squared minus 1. So first thing that we need to do, let us simplify the denominator x squared minus 1 raised to 3 halves. x squared minus 1 raised to 3 halves is same as x squared minus 1 times x squared minus 1 raised to 1 half. Because 1 times 1 half is equal, uh, 1 plus 1 half is equal to 3 halves. Now, let us rewrite our new given. Our new given will be the integral of x cubed dx all over x squared minus 1 square root of times the square root of x squared minus 1. Now, we can now use this radical expression and apply the trigonometric substitution in this radical expression. So, let us have the corresponding radical expression. Our radical expression is square root of x squared minus 1 and this is written in the form x squared minus a squared. So if we have x squared minus a squared, we will be applying x equals a secant theta. x is equal to a squared is 1 and the square root of 1 is 1, x is equal to secant theta. Then we need as well the x cube. Our x cube is equal to secant square uh, secant cube theta. Then we need the derivative of x and that will be dx is equal to secant theta tangent theta d theta. So in our given, we also need the value of our x squared. Our x squared is simply equal to secant squared theta. Let us now substitute all this given in our original given x cubed dx all over x squared minus 1 times the quantity square root of x squared minus 1. So we have here now the integral of our x cubed is secant cubed theta and our dx is secant theta tangent theta d theta all over our x squared minus 1 is equal to or the square root of x squared minus 1 is equal to we have let us write here square root of x squared minus 1 is equal to the square root of our x squared is secant squared theta minus 1 and secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to tan squared theta and tan squared theta the square root of tan squared theta is equal to tan theta therefore that is the value of x squared minus 1 
tan theta. And what will be now the value of our x squared minus 1? The value of our x squared minus 1 is... Sorry, sir. Um, the value of our x squared minus 1, let us write right here. x squared minus 1 is equal to, the value again of x squared is secant squared theta minus 1. And that will be equal to tan squared theta. Meaning to say, our tan squared theta is equal to x squared minus 1. And our tan theta is equal to square root of x squared minus 1. Therefore, x squared minus 1 which is tan squared theta and square root of x squared minus 1 which is tan theta is equal to tan squared theta times tan theta is definitely same as tangent cube theta. Now, let us how, let us first simplify um, our given. Our new given will become the integral of this will be secant to the fourth theta d theta all over tan squared theta. So let us now apply the different cases for group number two, case number two. Group two, case number two. So our new given will become the integral of so let us um, put the denominator tan squared theta to the as the uh, in our numerator and it will become tan raised to negative two theta and secant to the fourth theta d theta um, solvable group it will become secant squared theta and secant squared okay may I rewrite this one because there's no space. Okay, our new given will become solvable group of secant to the fourth theta d theta is the integral of secant squared theta, secant squared theta, d theta, and let us um, move the, the denominator in the numerator and it will become tan raised to negative 2 theta. Then the next thing that we need to do is simplify this. We have the integral of tan raised to negative two theta. Secant squared theta is same as one minus a uh, one plus tan squared theta, and we have secant squared theta d theta. So let us now have u and du. Let u be equal to tan theta. And the derivative of u will be secant theta d theta. Then the new given will become the integral of u raised to negative 2. And 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to 1 plus u squared. And secant theta squared theta um, d theta is same as du. Now, let us simplify this one. We have the integral of u raised to negative 2 plus 1 du. So, may I erase this? So, we have the integral of u raised to negative 2 plus 1 du. And it will become... The integral of u raised to negative 2 du plus the integral of du. We have u raised to negative 1 all over negative 1 because negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 plus u plus c. Therefore, we have here um, negative 1 over u plus u plus c. And the value of u here is tan theta. We have negative 1 over tan theta plus tan theta plus c. Is this the final answer? No. We need to solve the value of tan theta. Okay? So in order to do that, let us have 
again, the reference, triangle. Our reference triangle is states that our given is x equals a secant theta and the value of a is 1 which is x equals secant theta. Therefore, we can say that the value of secant theta is x over 1. And secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine. What is the value of cosine? From Sokatoa, cosine adjacent hypotenuse. We have here, um, if secant is equal to 1 over cosine theta, and if secant theta is equal to x over 1, therefore, secant theta is equal to the inverse of x over 1, 1 over x. Because um, the value of secant theta is x over 1, therefore the value of cosine theta rather. The value of cosine theta is 1 over x. Therefore, cosine is opposite, uh, adjacent 1 over hypotenuse x. Therefore, the unknown side is the radical expression x squared minus 1. Now, let us find the value of our tangent theta. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite square root of x squared minus 1 over adjacent 1 or simply tan theta is equal to square root of x squared minus 1. Therefore, the final result will be negative 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 <coughs> plus square root of x squared minus 1 plus c. And this will be our final result. Stay tuned because our next lesson is about quadratic expression, integrals involving quadratic expressions.